what do you get when you mix filmmakers, celebrities, and moviegoers, plus a week of fantastic screenings? It's called a film festival. And because DC has so many of them, it's literally a paradise for cinephiles. Each year, filmmakers, film stars, and film fans gather around the world at some of the industry's top festivals, like Cannes, Sundance, and Toronto, just to name a few. Guess what? You don't have to travel to Tribeca. Here in D.C., the glory of cinema is celebrated every month of the year, which means that film festivals in Washington, D.C. have become a major cultural event. From foreign and local films to documentaries and shorts to animations, D.C. has something on the big screen for nearly every taste. We have festivals for everyone in the spring. There's the Film Fest D.C., which is our big one. There's the D.C. Independent Film Festival. There's the Jewish Film Festival, the Gay and Lesbian Festival, Labor Environmental. You name it, we have a festival for it. And of course, tons of embassy programs, you know, this Latin America, the European, the Asian, it's, it's all wow, there. It's all there for everyone. Run by Jonathan Gann, DC Shorts is the third largest short film festival in the country and was named twice in a row as one of the 25 festivals worth the entry fee. Tell me a little bit more about DC Shorts. I hear you're the expert when it comes to film. Sure. Uh, DC Shorts is uh, going to be in September this year, and it's uh, we show about 100 films from around the world. But we have such a huge film industry in Washington. It's probably the third largest film economy in the country. So we have tons of independent filmmakers. We have a lot of people. Well, we have all these newsmakers. We have all these documentarians. We have lots of cable networks here. So all those people who work during the day want to do something in the evening that kind of fuels their creative minds. So they make a lot of indie films. So we have a big independent film community in Washington. Okay. Tell me now a little bit about the film. So what can people expect? To use? In a two-hour program, we usually show a, a variety. You see a comedy, an animated, a horror, a documentary, a drama. Uh, some really good ones. We had one this year called Pigeon Impossible. It was our opening film, a nice animated piece that takes place in downtown Washington. It looks like it takes place in front of the Eastview Theater, which is where we usually have it, about a pigeon and a Secret Service agent that go at odds with each other. Um, just really cute. It's great for families, great for adults. It was one of our audience favorites. Everyone loved it. Okay, well, I gotta check that one out. And thanks to a new initiative from the DC Film Alliance, you can purchase a pass to the best film festivals in the Washington area. Well, the DC Film Alliance created a pass this year called the Red Carpet Pass. And for one fee, you get entry into, I think, 24 film festivals on their opening night and for their opening party. So it's a great deal. It's tax deductible. It's a donation to us. Well, I'm going out to get mine today. <laughs> I'm not a filmmaker quite yet, but I'm <laughs> thinking about being one. <laughs> one day. <laughs> so whether you like to be behind the scenes, in front of the camera, or simply in front of the big screen, there's something for everyone at the DC Film Fest. So, John, for people who want to know more about films, like people like me, um, how do we get that information? Well, we have a great website at dcfilm.org. has a calendar of every event in Washington, so it's a great place to start. So for all you film buffs out there, remember dcshorts.com, right? Right, and dcfilm.org. So remember, make room in your calendar for a year of opening nights at film festivals in D.C.